Mr. Beast has found himself in quite a predicament as over the past, um, what? Two days? Basically, this woman right here has accused Mr. Beast of one of the most heinous crimes I think any YouTuber has ever committed, which is editing her third place out of a hide and seek game. That's crazy. Like, I, I don't know if you guys really truly understand the impact that that is going to have on her. The distraught she must be feeling right now must be insane. I hope her family is doing okay, and I hope everyone around her is also, you know, dealing with their grief in a healthy way. I can't believe that this has happened. Mr. Beast is a monster confirmed. No, but in all seriousness, this is the dumbest drama that I think I've ever seen on this fucking platform. And I don't say that lightly. <laughs> so Rosanna Pensio, a YouTuber I have never heard of before in my life, who apparently has been in multiple Mr. Beast videos and has 14 million subscribers somehow. I mean, you have to have that kind of subscriber count if you're constantly in Mr. Beast videos. Well, I guess not anymore or something like that. But she went out on Twitter with this giant, giant essay of like how Mr. Beast cut her out of a video of his where they play hide and seek and it was like a charity event and she made this into one of the dumbest dramas i think i've ever seen in genuinely genuinely in my life i've never seen a drama be this petty she basically just goes on to say that mr beast rigs his videos and the video in question was his extreme one million dollar hide and seek video again was a charity event but she's basically just saying that it was rigged from the start and all this other crap simply because she was edited out of the video and it was made to look like she did not win third place even though she did and that's the drama i'm not even joking but the reason why this is getting so ridiculous is because she has been on a rampage on twitter basically just trying to make everything sound as misogynistic and sexist as possible she literally is writing out these giant paragraphs making it sound like Mr. Beast committed a sex crime against her or some shit like that. And all it's talking about is how she didn't win hide and seek. Which, by the way, again, I must, I am I have to put that into perspective. She did not win. She did not get first place. She even admits that. She got third place. And the whole reason this is happening is because it was not shown in the video. And the reason why it wasn't shown in the video is because when they caught her, it was boring as fuck. Wait, wait. because Mr. Beast is an entertainer. Now, another big thing that she is claiming here is that Mr. Beast fakes his videos, which you, you realize that like, this is Mr. Beast, right? Some of his videos, like when he goes out for three days on the seas and just becomes a fucking like pirate for some reason, that's real. But when you're doing extreme hide and seek for a charity event with Logan Paul, or I don't know, blowing up a tank, it's not exactly genuine, it's more for entertainment purposes, because that's who Mr. Beast is. There's been a plethora of people trying to cancel Mr. Beast for various, various fucking reasons, and it has never worked. The man is literally untouchable. So to try and come out and say that he's being misogynistic, and like try and frame your hide and seek loss as a sex crime, only makes you look worse. Because people love Mr. Beast. And people now really hate you. The worst part about this is this whole thing came out and then she dropped a music video. And what people have been pointing out is that her 14 million subscriber channel really has not been doing too good. Which is now theorized that she is doing this simply for clout. And honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. Because the numbers on her channel look like mine. Which is really bad for a 14 million subscriber channel. Like, not to hate or anything, but hey, get your views up, because that that do not look good. I can't even take this drama seriously, because it, it's literally just bullshit. Everyone that has weighed in has just been calling her out for trying to frame this as if she got caught in, like, some weird fucking sexual harassment thing with Mr. Beast, and every single rebuttal that she has had on Twitter has been, oh, so you're just misogynistic now? Oh, so you're making fun of the Me Too movement now? Which is so, so wrong in so many ways, because she's trying to compare losing hide and seek and not being in a Mr. Beast video, which by the way, I would kill to be in a Mr. Beast video for like a split second. I'd actually probably take a semi run through an orphanage to be on a Mr. Beast video. So the fact that you're even complaining that you lost is 
unbelievable, honestly. I, I can't fathom it. I, I can't fathom being this fucking petty. So yeah, that happened this weekend. I just wanted to get a quick video out because I thought this was hilarious. I've, I've never ever seen someone throw their career down the drain so quickly because you know she's not getting invited back to the next extreme hide and seek or any mr beast video for that actually because she's been in a couple apparently i haven't seen them but she's been in a couple i probably just glazed over because she's boring hopefully your music video was worth your career lady and i don't i don't know cope seethe mauled you're you're so fucking stupid i can't i actually can't Anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, and hey, you should subscribe, because subscribing helps me, and you want to help me, because that would be really cool of you. Thank you to my members, Magic and Harley, for supporting the channel in the ways that you do, by destroying planets, eating stars, and becoming sun gods, which you guys can do too. For only five dollars a month that five dollars gets you access to exclusive streams a membership only discord exclusive emotes and badges that you can use on my streams and early access to videos which i'm still working the kinks out on that so give me give me a couple weeks to figure it out i'm slow and hey if you like this video go check out my last one because Thought it was pretty good, so. Also, I'm gonna start streaming every Tuesday, boys. So tune in to Void the Warlock live streams at Void the Warlock on YouTube because we're gonna be doing some wacky, zany things. I don't know if I'm gonna stream this Tuesday because it's Halloween, but you know, just keep it in mind. I'm streaming. Yeah. <laughs>